I don't know if I want to do NaNoWriMo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brooke, if you're new here, and if you're not new here, you already know me. So today I want to talk about NaNoWriMo. It is very early in the morning right now. It is 5.25 in the morning on Thursday. I'm posting this today. <laughs> but I have been hesitating to really formally announce what I'm doing for NaNo. I've talked about it a bit because I had a feeling I would change my mind and I think it's happening. So let me, let me spill some tea here. This is coffee. I don't drink tea. So here's the thing. I started a new novel. For those of you who don't know, which most of you do, I started a new novel at the end of August and I challenged myself to get 30,000 words in the month of September and I did that and then this month I have challenged myself to get 30,000 words in this month, which may or may not happen, who's to say. I have 17,332 in this month, so not bad. I could realistically, I could finish that 30k. The problem is, I don't think it's going to take me to the end of this novel. And for my first nano, I wanted to start a brand new novel and write 50,000 words on it. That was my plan. Prep it in October and write 50,000 in November. I haven't prepped this novel because I've been busy with other stuff. And number two, I've been so engrossed in my previous novel. So. I have 47,500 on this previous novel and my problem is, I have a few problems, I just, it's just one big problem. So I am kind of losing motivation just as a whole. So I feel like I'm approaching some kind of burnout-ish thing in terms of I've written so many words and I just need a break and I talked about this in another video I think just wanting to take a break and I said I was gonna take a break in December which I will still be doing I get a lot of holiday time in December from work and I really I want to spend that time relaxing and the second thing is that I'm really attached to the story I'm writing I'm attached to the plot I'm attached to the characters and I'm having a hard time separating you know for another story and so I'm just like so in love with these characters and I'm so in love with the story and I'm, I'm just so engrossed in it and I'm trying to come up with ideas for a new story but all I can think about is this one so I'm having a hard time even coming up with ideas for a new story and I have kind of a basic idea of what I wanted to write for NaNo but I have absolutely no plot figured out and it's October 22nd now I used to be a pantser, so I mean, it's probably not the worst thing in the world to not have a plot, but that was my goal, was to have an outline for NaNo and to have it plotted with Save the Cat. So here's what I've been thinking. I'm hoping that I will finish my 30,000 for Project NA, which is my current work in progress. I'm hoping to finish it by the end of October. If I don't, oh well, I'm not really putting that much pressure on myself because like I said, I'm kind of getting burnt out. So if I finish the 30K, that's not gonna finish the novel. I'm still gonna need 10 to 20,000, I think, to finish the draft. So there's that dilemma. What I think I'm going to do, I'm gonna be a nano rebel of sorts and tell myself that my goal is to finish my first draft of Project NA. And then, I'm not sure if I'm gonna let it rest, per se. Anyways, we'll get to that. But, so for Project NA, I'm going to be writing just over 10k more words in October, which will bring me to 50k on the project and then I'll be writing 10 to 20 more in the month of November and I think that's it. You guys don't know how badly I wanted to participate in NaNo this year. I have wanted to do NaNo for so long but I was previously in university and midterms are during November and it was just not practical and I wasn't really writing in university 
and I think when I was writing so like when I was in high school and stuff I'm not even sure if I really kn knew about nano so I yeah I was really excited to participate in nano but I'm kind of thinking like what's the point in saying that I'm gonna do nano if I'm really not like if I know ahead of time that I'm not gonna finish it but there's no way so I think I'm gonna make that decision right now to say I'm not participating in nano I'm gonna focus on project NA because that's what's making me happy right now and I think that in the month of November I just need some time to kind of redirect my focus from writing to just other stuff in my life. So I started this series uh, that's called Getting My Life Together. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll link it up here and in a playlist down below. I'm going to be trying out a bunch of challenges to try and better myself. So that's kind of what I want to start working on. And I have talked a lot about taking a break. And I think that breaks are super important. And I mean, like, let's be real, for a lot of us, writing isn't our full-time job. Writing is not my full-time job. And I shouldn't, I don't feel guilty taking a break from it. I mean, I do a little bit, but I think that after I finish this draft, I'm gonna just feel so accomplished that I'm not gonna have any room to feel guilty. So here's my plan after I finish this draft. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna finish this draft by the mid middle of November. And I think I'm too stubborn to let it rest before. I'm not gonna edit it, but I'm gonna read through it for sure. I got these adorable little notebooks for my editing process. So they're super, super cool. I um, showed you guys them in a office supply haul, but I'm so excited to use these. Like I just can't, I can't wait. So I showed, like, look at how cool this is. Anyways. So these are going to be for editing and I'm going to read through, take notes, that kind of stuff, and then I'll probably let it rest. So here's an issue. I already declared my project for NaNoWriMo. So if anybody's curious, my project idea, I was calling it Project E2L, which is Enemies to Lovers. It wasn't really true Enemies to Lovers, but my plan was to do a fake dating novel. Now, if some kind of crazy inspiration hits me and I want to continue writing that and plotting it during November, that's great. But I don't feel like it's gonna be good if I just try and force myself to write it in November. I don't think it's gonna be quality. I don't think it's gonna be fun. That is the difference with this Project NA. It has been so freaking fun. Like I sit down and I'm not like, oh, what do I write? Like, what's happening? Like, I just sit down and I write and I've just never had so much fun with a novel. I'm so in love with it. I'm so in love with it. And I'm so scared that I'm not gonna be able to feel that way about my next one. So I think I kind of need to separate myself from how amazing I felt during this novel because I need to realize that like, not everyone is gonna be like that. But guys, I am so excited to finish Project NA. I'm so, so, so excited. I, my last novel was a bit of a mess, but this one, I plotted with Save the Cat and I was so excited. I bought Save the Cat and I was reading it and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is gold. This is so good. And it was, it really helped me so much. And I attribute a lot of the success of this story to Save the Cat because it just helped me so much. So I think something else that I'm gonna be working on in November is character development. I think that I'm very plot forward when I, when I plan my novels. So I think about what's gonna happen and not who's doing it, which can lead to flat characters. So I wanna try during November to, instead of coming up with a plot for a novel, coming up with a character first and it kind of stemming from there. I think that's something that I'm really interested in, so. But anyways, that's my little ramble about NaNoWriMo, how it's gonna go for me. So I think right now we're gonna say I'm gonna write 
20,000 words in November. I'm really sad that I'm not going to be doing NaNo, but I will be cheering all you guys on and I hope that all of you guys do super well and you get your 50k or whatever you're doing if you're a rebel like I am. I don't even know if I can call myself a NaNo rebel, like I don't know if I can even, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, let me know in the comments what you're doing for NaNoWriMo. I would love to hear about your projects. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.